December 7, 1941. The sky over Pearl Harbor is filled with roars. Hundreds of Japanese planes launch a surprise attack. Bases burn, ships explode. It's a day that marked history. But imagine something different. On a runway, hidden under a tarp, is the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II, a fifth-generation combat aircraft brought to the past. What happens if this machine from the future faces a battle from 84 years ago? Can a single jet change the course of Pearl Harbor? Or is it just a needle in a haystack against hundreds of enemies? Today, we're going to analyze it. We'll put the F-35 to the test against the Japanese planes of 1941. Get ready for an epic versus. Let's find out what would have happened. What is this aircraft that arrived in 1941? The F-35 Lightning II is a fifth-generation stealth fighter. It's a masterpiece of modern engineering designed to dominate the skies. It's fast, stealthy, and lethal. Its technology is light years ahead of anything in 1941. Key features, speed, it reaches Mach 1.6, about 1,227 miles per hour, or 1,970 kilometers per hour. This is more than three times the speed of the Japanese planes of the era. Stealth. Its design and materials absorb radar waves. It's practically invisible to 1941 systems. Range. It can fly over 1,367 miles or 2,200 kilometers without refueling, allowing it to cover great distances without support. Electronic systems. It has a helmet with an integrated display. The pilot sees real-time data as if they had X-ray vision. Armament AIM-120 AMRAAM missiles, six radar-guided missiles that can hit targets from more than 62 miles away, well beyond visual range. AIM-9X Sidewinder missiles, two heat-seeking missiles, perfect for close-quarters combat with great precision. GAU-22A cannon, a 25mm cannon that fires up to 3,300 rounds per minute. Each shot is devastating against the light aircraft of the era. Sensors and technology. Its AESA radar can detect dozens of targets at the same time, tracking planes from more than 62 miles away. Infrared sensors allow it to see in the dark or through clouds. Its electronic warfare system can jam enemy signals. It shares real-time data with other systems systems, although in 1941 there are no allies with this capability. Maneuverability. It turns faster and climbs higher than any World War II aircraft. Its flight computer adjusts every movement with pinpoint precision. It can perform maneuvers impossible for 1941 planes. Limitations. In 1941, there is no modern fuel like JP-8. No one knows how to repair or rearm it. Without spare parts or specialized technicians, it is completely alone. A single, even minor damage can render it useless. The F-35 has only one chance to shine. It must make every second and every shot count. The Japanese Threat at Pearl Harbor On December 7, 1941, Japan launched a massive attack. 353 planes arrived in two waves. Enemy formations. Mitsubishi A6M Zero fighters, agile and fast for their time. Maximum speed, 329 miles per hour, 530 kilometers per hour. Nakajima B5N torpedo bombers. They carry torpedoes to sink ships. Speed, about 230 miles per hour, 370 kilometers per hour. Aichi D3A dive bombers. They attack with precision from above. Speed close to 236 miles per hour, 380 kilometers per hour. Japanese technology. No radar, no computers, no guided weapons. Everything is manual. Aiming, navigating, and shooting. Japanese strategy. Attack in large coordinated formations. They rely on surprise and numerical superiority. Their plan is simple. Overwhelm the American defenses. In 1941, this worked. But today, there's an F-35 on the battlefield. The first Japanese wave appears on the horizon. 183 planes fly low over the ocean. The F-35 takes off in seconds, climbing to 32,808 feet, 10,000 meters, in an instant. Its radar scans the sky, detecting dozens of enemy planes at 37 miles, 60 kilometers. The Japanese don't see it. They have no radar. 
they have no idea what's coming. The F-35 pilot locks onto several targets and fires four AMRAAMS missiles. In seconds, four Japanese planes explode in the air. There's no warning, no response. The Japanese pilots panic. Their formations break. The Zeros turn, searching for the invisible enemy. The F-35 moves to another angle and fires two more missiles. Two more planes go down. In less than a minute, six enemy planes have vanished. The Japanese don't know what hit them. The F-35 remains invisible, flying at Mach 1.6. The second wave arrives. 170 more planes. Alarms sound at Pearl Harbor. Anti-aircraft defenses activate. But in the sky, a single plane is changing everything. The F-35 attacks again. Its sensors identify key bombers. It fires its last AMRAAMS missiles. Three Nakajima B-5Ns explode before releasing their torpedoes. The GAU-22-A cannon comes into action. The F-35 closes in on a group of Zeros and fires short bursts. Two Japanese fighters plummet. But the F-35 can't be everywhere. While it's chasing fighters high up, some bombers slip through. They launch torpedoes at the ships. Explosions shake the harbor. The F-35 continues to fight, but time is running out. F-35 Limitations The F-35 is a technological marvel, but it is not infinite. Fuel In intense combat, it burns fuel fast. It can fly for about 40 minutes at maximum power. It uses JP-8 fuel, which is non-existent in 1941. Without refueling, it either lands or crashes. Ammunition. It only carries six AMRAAMS and two Sidewinder missiles. The cannon has 1,800 rounds. Once they run out, there's no reload. Logistics. No one in 1941 can repair it. A damaged sensor or a failed system takes it out of combat. There are no spare parts, no technicians, no tools. The F-35 is lethal, but it is alone. Every shot counts, every minute counts. Japanese logistical advantages. The Japanese have a clear advantage, their logistics. Their aircraft carriers are nearby. They have fuel, bombs, and spare parts. Their crews are trained. They can launch more planes within hours. In 1941, their plan was executed to perfection. The F-35 can shoot down dozens of planes, but the Japanese have hundreds. When the F-35 runs out of fuel, the Japanese will keep attacking. It's a battle of endurance, and the F-35 cannot last forever. Can the F-35 stop the attack? Pearl Harbor was not just an air battle, it was an attack on ships, bases, and soldiers. Real damage in 1941, eight battleships damaged or sunk, 188 planes destroyed on the ground, another 159 planes damaged, more than 2,400 dead. F-35's impact. With its eight missiles, it could shoot down eight key planes. With the cannon, it could eliminate 5 to 10 more. In total, between 13 and 18 planes shot down. That would disrupt a wave, save some ships, and protect some lives. But it wouldn't stop everything. There are too many enemy planes, too many targets on the ground. The F-35 cannot cover the entire harbor. The F-35 changes the game, even if it doesn't win. For the Japanese, their pilots see planes explode for no reason. They don't see the enemy. Panic breaks their coordination. Their perfect plan crumbles. For the Americans, they see an impossible jet in the sky. It shoots down enemies with ease. They don't know what it is, but it's on their side. Morale rises. Panic turns to hope. The F-35 doesn't stop Pearl Harbor, but it changes how the battle feels. It gives the defenders a fighting chance. It could protect hundreds of lives in the harbor, but it would not stop the entire attack. There are too many Japanese planes. Pearl Harbor would still be a dark day, but with an F-35, there would be a ray of light. What do you think? Do you believe an F-35 could have changed history? Leave your comment and share this video. If you liked it, give it a like and subscribe for more epic battles. See you next time.